Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back at it with some 2-5 cash games with a $500 buy-in. Hijack raise, cut off flat, we'll go for the squeeze out of the big blind here with kings. And we do see the 4-bet from the original raiser. Makes it 155, and we're just going to go ahead and jam this in here with the kings. Taking quite a bit of time here. Size on a call with 10s. Oh, 10 on the flop. That's not a good start to our day. Music to our ears here. Open the hijack. Small blind puts in the 3 bet. And I think 4 betting with aces seems like a solid play here. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. Hoping for the 5 bet jam. Oh, and we will take it. Aces versus ace king. All right, got him drawn dead on the turn. Nice double up. Something we needed there. Takes quite a bit of time besides on the four bet here. Uh, Cut off versus button. I think we can continue king jack suited in position. Go ahead and call 9-3-3. Two hearts and a club. Size on a check here. The question is, do we start trying to run a bluff or a check? I'm going to go with a check here. Give me a mix of the two. Checks here. Uh, once we check that flop, I think we want to check turn as well. Ace of hearts on the river. So he's going to have a decent amount of ace highs here. I don't think he's necessarily going to have tons of hearts. So I think we can bet here. And because one of his cards won't be a heart, and I want to use a bigger sizing that he will fold an ace here. Um, we can rep like we have a heart here. And that play works miserably as we get jammed on. Uh, here we open the cutoff with ace queen, big blind three bets. Go ahead and take this one in position. Nine, five, three, rainbow. See a bet. We'll go ahead and call one in position here with our ace high. And get a beautiful turn card. Hit the queen on the turn. See a bet here. I think we still want to be just calling here. Definitely keeping some bluffs in. We're going to be really hyping our range, and a lot of times this queen will be really bad for us. And the only card we really don't want to see is like a king. I uh, prefer probably not a jack or 10 either, but uh, king would just be like the only really miserable card. Nine on the river. So don't expect him much 9x as his hand's been played. Also a 3-bet pre. So he's going to flat some of his like 10-9 suits. He'll 3-bet some of them too, but I expect him to check the turn quite a bit. So I feel pretty confident in our hand here. He checks, and we are going to go for the value jam here. Uh, 411 in the middle. He has 301 back. Maybe get a call from some king queen type hands, queen jack. We probably can't go for super thin value here. Like, this is probably as thin as we're going for value. So we do get value from queen and jack, and we get a big double up. Interesting here against the button, limp, small blind raise. I was close to three betting it. Um, decided to flat though. Flop a gutter, I at least like would like to have like backdoor clubs to go with it. And he's taking quite a bit of time here. Size of the bet. With a gutter, I'm going to go ahead and float in position. Uh, getting four to one here. Six of spades on the turn. He checks. I don't think I'm going to start bluffing here without a spade. Or do I? 
Kind of close. We'll check here and then maybe bet River if check two. Small with our queen high, get him off some of like his ace high holdings. Don't expect him to fold a king here, but um, you know, hands less than a king might fold. Getting a decent price on our bluff as well. Uh, open the button here, ace, queen, small blind, three bet. Go ahead and call in position. And that's a good flop for ace, queen. Ace, queen, 10. Bets don't want to do anything but, or do anything but calling here. Sorry. Go ahead and call. In general, board much better for him than us, even though we do have a strong hand here. Miserable turn card. Really doesn't want to see a king or jack. Ugh, sucks to see that peel off here. Bet small. I think we do need to call one here, two pair. And then evaluate river. Ten on the river. Not a good run out, guys. He checks, easy check back at this point, and he has the straights. Wow, he flopped it. We got very lucky for that turn card, actually. Cut off open, going to three bet the small blind, ace, queen suited. Takes quite a bit of time and decides to go with the four bet. Ace, queen suited here, I think we'll go ahead and flat. Ace, 10, and 9. So we do flop the ace. Once we do this, we have one of the strongest hands we're going to have here. I mean, we're going to have some sets of 10s and 9s as well, I guess. But um, we're not flatting and having 279 in the middle with planning on folding 400 effective on most runs out, runouts here. Uh, let's see. It's a 145. Uh, wouldn't leave very much behind if we call. 570 with like 155 behind. So I mean like quarter pot behind. I guess we just jam with our continue range here. Snap calls. He has ace king. That's really unfortunate with ace queen. And going to lose a big stack there. Over to the three better now. Sides on a call. Big flop for us here. King 6 4. Put out a C bet. Good call. 7 on the turn. Uh, Give me a mix of some jamming here and some checking. Going to check this time. So, about pot behind here. If he bets, we'll be. Jamming on him, so he puts in about half a stack. Uh, if he were to jam, we would be calling, obviously. So, trying to get him to feel like he's better with like a king, queen, king, jack, maybe than if we just went bet, bet. Calls it off with king, queen, no queen. All right, big double up for us there. Cooler of a flop. That's going to wrap up today's cash game session. So we played for three hours today, a mix of 2-5 with a little bit of 1-2. So on 2-5, we played 787 hands with a $75 loss. And then in 1-2, we played 30 hands with an $18 win. Uh, total results on the day, minus $57. So really close to break even for a second straight session. If you guys are watching the vlog on YouTube today, enjoy the video, please be sure to like and comment as well as subscribe to the channel. And if you're one of my live streaming schedule, I post it every Monday morning on my Twitch page on the schedule tab.